questions for Devante? Devante, it's your first year playing, but you had to immediately end it with the championship. What is that like for you? I mean, it sucks, man. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's, it's great. Um, coming in, this is my first year playing, and you really can't ask for much more. I mean, we started out pretty fast, and um, things are just, just happening. The coach is telling me that, you know, um, you're going to be a big part of the offense. Coming in, I'm just um, not nervous, but just getting some jitters about it. And um, once we got the first game out of the way, it was. It was just awesome. It was a good feeling. I had like a sick to my stomach type feeling at first, just just being a little nervous. And then once I got in the group of things, it's just great. And then finishing the season like this, you really can't ask for much more as a freshman, freshman, freshman. So it's been great. It's a big deal, but the fact that Derek is coming immediately and said come back next year, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I, I talked to Derek about it um, a few days ago, actually. So I kind of got the inside scoop for you guys. So. Uh, it's, it's a great thing just knowing that after the season that we've been having since it's not over, the season we've been having, um, it's, it's, been, it's been real great and I've been having a lot of fun. So just knowing that he's coming back, just it, it makes me feel good. I mean, I know we have guys that um, can step up uh, that are behind Derek right now, but just knowing that the type of season we've had that we can go out there and have a, another one, if not better next year, um, it feels good. Can you speak, like, maybe for the underclassmen? Did you guys play extra hard, or what does it mean to send the seniors out this way, conference champs, undefeated at home? Oh, uh, Coach DeRuiter spoke about that many times, just making sure that these seniors, um, just game by game, are just playing as hard as they can, and we're playing for more than just ourselves. And knowing that the seniors only have a, a limited amount of games, we work so hard for only 13 opportunities. So DeRuiter made sure that we all and we're going to go out there and just, just keep fighting just so those seniors go out with a bang. I mean, it's his first season coming in, so, I mean, he, he knows how much it, it means for to finish a career um, with a good amount of wins or without a good amount of wins, but we always had a, a high standard of how we wanted to play, and he preached that from day one, and the seniors all knew that they only have a certain amount of opportunities. We just have to go out there and play every game like it's our last. You're going to do your job, Devontae. Can you talk about Coach Ram's philosophy and his schemes that allows players like you to be out in open space and to get the ball in a position where you, Rashad, and Isaiah can kind of do them some things and, and really exploit a lot of your talents that you guys have out there and exploit the defense back? Well, Shram, he's, he's been doing this for a long time, so he, he knows what he's doing. And when you have um, – uh, running back like we do, um, it kind of takes some pressure off of our receiving core. And when you have the receivers that we do, it takes pressure off me and takes pressure off Rashad or whoever because it's, it's all over the place. We have threats everywhere. So Sharon just um, has his schemes and, and different plays that he brought here from other places and things that he just puts together just in his dreams. One, one night he might just think about one. and. Um, he just he lets he just the the good part about Shram is it's not so much of just what he does, but he likes to get our thoughts of what we see out there, and so we kind of have like a you you tell me how you feel about it, and I'll tell you how I feel about it type of relationship, and I think that's that's something that's key, and that's that's a great quality that he has. So that being said, when you guys are great blockers, I know maybe sometimes people don't say that enough, maybe when Robbie broke the record, he came out, but is that something that comes from him or is that something that comes from the receiving core? Or where does the blocking that you guys do come from in terms of that mentality blocking down you? Um, it's, well, it starts within each person. You can kind of tell before, um, you can tell more than just whether or not the, the coaches are telling us to block and, and making us, but um, they de they definitely make sure that we you know. Like I said from the beginning, I got an interview after I believe the Weaver State game. They they make sure no block, no rock. So if, you, if you're not out there playing for more than just yourself, then I mean you're not going to be able to score touchdowns either. So when we have that <coughs> mentality, I mean if, if Robbie's out there blocking for me and I score and I see that, so I want to go out there and block for my teammate as well to spring in for a touchdown and. The more um, unselfish we are, the better off we are. Of all the tricks.